This is RTA 25 News at 10. Breaking news on 25, Chicago sports anchor Mark Jim Greco has been canned from WLS-TV after 27 years. Good evening, I'm Rondell Joseph. You're watching RTA 25 News at 10. We've been on top of this story as little details have came to light over the past six weeks. According to Robert Feeder, Jim Greco was dismissed from ABC7 after the ditzy combative comment made towards longtime anchor Cheryl Burton. ABC7 placed Jim Greco on administrative leave back in January under no disclosed reasons. WLS Television General Manager John Eiler confirmed Mark's exit. The 68-year-old joined ABC7 in 1994 after 12 years at NBC5 as a sports anchor in the evening newscasts with Alan Krzyzewski, John Drury, and Diane Burns. Jan Greco is the highest paid sports anchor in the market and the longest running ABC7 sports anchor in the 10 o'clock news slot. The 58-year-old Cheryl Burton joined ABC7 in 1992 as a weekend anchor until 2003 when Diane Burns was denied contract renewal, which led to her promotion to the news at five. She was also a contributor for both Ron Majors and Kathy Brock as a backup anchor on the news at 10 o'clock. So far, the list of on-air personalities fired under John Eiler's control jumps to five since his arrival back to ABC7 in 2012. Neither Eiler, Jan Greco, or his agent Joe Wiseman commented on his termination. Jim Greco's evening sportscasts have kept ABC7 number one at 10 after the dismissal of the late Tim Weigel back in 1994 when Joe Ahern ran the show over at 190 North State. The fallout has caused WLS-TV and Cheryl Burton to be receiving backlash from both viewers and honor Chicago television personalities. The shocking details have kept them raveling after the termination of Janet Davies, which happened back in mid-February. Jim Greco and WLS had kept the real issue under wraps, but Feeder later revealed what was going down. John Eidler, the general manager, has so far fired Sylvia Perez, Mike Kaplan, Rick for Weigel by an attempt, Janet Davies, and now Mark Jim Greco has been added to the list. Viewers have been suspective of Eidler's actions, such as assuming that he is going after on-air personalities who have been there making ABC7 number one in ratings.